As a child, I was an avid reader. I loved to immerse myself in tales of pirates and detectives and robotic penguins who built crazy inventions to defeat said pirates. I have visited the most whimsical universes and I have loved every single one of them. But what I didn't notice till I was a lot older was the lack of diverse characters in the books I was reading. In all the eccentric lands I had visited, not one character had brown skin and black hair like I do. Now, as a six-year-old, this didn't bother me at all. While the names and mannerisms of the characters I read about seemed unfamiliar, I was intrigued by the lives they led and fascinated by the adventures they went on. It wasn't until I read the stories of Aditi and her friends by Suniti Nam Joshi at age 10 that I discovered my love for books written by Indian authors. If you are unfamiliar with the series, it follows the enthralling quests of a young Indian girl named Aditi who is accompanied by her friends, which include a monkey, an elephant, and two talking dragons. So this book is diverse in more than one way. My inclination towards these books was rooted in a cause deeper than the beautifully written stories of the author. In these books, I could finally relate to the characters I was reading about. I could relate to their lifestyle and ideologies, and I was familiar with their names. When I read about Julian and Barbara, I was an outsider looking at their adventures. Don't get me wrong, I still greatly enjoyed reading those books. But when I read about Aditi and Roshan, I could picture myself in their situations and I could truly experience their escapades. While I was diving into books written by Sudha Murthy, Ruskin Bond and R.K. Narayan, I realized the necessity for Indian representation in global literature. You're probably wondering, global literature? But this isn't a global problem. Indians make up one of the fastest growing ethnic groups in the United States of America. Indians are also the largest visible minority in the United Kingdom. Underrepresentation isn't just a problem for a girl living in India, but it affects Indian children around the world. Perhaps the latter with more intensity as they may not have books written by Indian authors available at their local bookstores. These children grew up reading about characters that look nothing like them. And it's about more than just appearances. Growing up in different cultures imbibes different habits and morals in children. It's about the clothes these characters wear and the way they talk and the food they eat. Having nothing in common with the characters creates a glass barrier between the readers and the story. The readers can look at the adventures but cannot really experience them. This restricts children from developing a love for literature, leaving so many of those whimsical universes undiscovered. Representation is also a matter of education for other ethnic groups. Time and time again, we see Indians misrepresented in television shows and movies. It's almost always a software engineer or a doctor with that same thick accent, just like any other ethnic group that has fallen victim to exaggerated stereotypes. This creates a flawed idea of the behavior of Indians. Reading books greatly influenced the person I am today. Not only did books help expand my vocabulary and improve my grammar, but they also made me more imaginative, creative, and taught me morals that are integral to my character. But what if I never discovered the stories of Aditi and her friends? What if I never developed a love for literature and felt trapped in a limited and unimaginative mind? What if I was always behind the glass barrier? So many children around the world grow up feeling like outcasts both in reality as well as the books they read about. This can have a negative impact on their personality and self-esteem for the rest of their lives. Books are supposed to provide us with an escape, a fictional world, and no child should ever feel isolated or confined because of their ethnicity. Today, we are striving to end discrimination and attain equality in every aspect of life. But humans cannot coexist in harmony until we educate ourselves and try to become more aware of all the elements that make up our society. Reading is a habit that shaped my mindset as a curious child and an adventurous teenager. And I believe that every child should be able to read about wild quests and live what they read.